Okay, so let's continue with the player customization settings. Uh, once again, changing these settings in the backend will change them for all of your tours. If you want to change these settings specifically for one tour, you go into that tour and in the settings tab, you will find override defaults. From there, you can change the same settings only for this tour. Saving and you have the effect. Okay, so uh, what I do is I'll turn on or change all these settings and then we can compare them. So if you have a, a, a tour color, sorry, uh, if you have a tour color which is uh, causing the effect for the, this color here, you can change that. The hiding the thumbnails, which we just saw on the bottom, if you don't want to have them in there, you can turn them off. Uh, a little planet intro. Let me just turn it up. Little planet intro. It's a nice flying effect. I will show you that. A shadow effect is a vignette effect which photographers photographers use to uh, to focus actually the eye on the center of the image. Auto rotate is an effect that if the player is not used, not touched by the uh, the user, it will start to rotate through the whole uh, scene and that will start after a period of in this case 20 seconds and it will start to the right we have set it to 5 and you can also set it to minus 5 and then it goes to the left the higher the number the faster it will go the info panel is in this case on the right we can set it to the left and transition type is actually the transition between a scene to another scene so if a user clicks on a hotspot it will use this effect for the transition no blending a slow blend fast blend whatever so select one and play around with that and you can see the difference okay so I have updated the settings and this is the original let's reload and see what the result now is so it starts with the little tour little planet sorry so here you see the planet and it will zoom into your first scene here we see also that the color is changed the thumbnails are disappeared and on the top you will see a subtle vignette it's very subtle uh, we didn't want to do it too much so in I will show you the original as well so see the effect here and it's gone this is the original one and we've modified it to this one also the info panel is now on the left hand the logo is always on the side of the info panel so it goes to the left and it was on the right in this case here uh, and the destination is always on the other side of the logo so just a quick run through of the settings where you can modify them and what they have on an effect so the logos here we have the logo the walkthrough player logo that's the one you want to modify if you modify that here you will modify it for all your tours which uh, is visible in the player and that is this logo and also there's a nadir logo and the nadir logo if you add that it is visible on the bottom so you don't see or it's a nice cover-up of the camera what you use if the user modifies it or uh, changes the view it will always be focused so it doesn't have to be a circle it can also be a square or rectangle image you can modify them here in if you don't want them delete them uh, and you will delete them for all your tours so that's just a quick run through i hope you enjoy the settings and the effect of it and see you in another tutorial thank you